Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Baraka from Mortal Kombat 11. Now we're going to get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So let's move to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. We're going to start on the outside. We're going to draw a curve coming across and then down towards the inside. Now let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the inside, curve up, and then out. Now we're going to curl up the inside of the eyelid, starting from the left side, come in, and we'll just pull that up. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right, curving in and then up to the same height. Now we're going to draw the brow up on top of the eyelid. So on the left side, we're going to step up, we're going to curve up and then in. Now I'm going to pull this down and in towards the inside of the eyelid. I'm going to curve down and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the end, we're going to step up, curve up, and then in. Now I'm going to curve this down and then across towards the top of the eyelid. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting on the left side, we're going to step in, I'm going to curve down, and then up towards the inside of the eyelid. Let's do the same thing on the right. Down and then up. Now back on the left side, we're going to find the center point of the eye. We're going to step in and draw a short line coming down. We're going to leave a little gap along the bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, coming down towards the bottom. Now we're going to connect the inside of the eyelid with a curve. Starting from the left, we're going to curve up and then back down. Let's move down in the center and draw on the nose. We're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve down and back up. Now let's draw on the nostril. From the left side, I'm going to step down and draw almost like a C shape, curling around. And we'll go in the opposite direction on the right side. Now directly above the nose, I'm going to draw a short curve for the nose bridge. Let's add in some eye bags. Starting on the left side, on the inside of the eye, we're going to curve down and then out. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to move down and draw on the top row of teeth. We're going to start in the center. We're going to start with a point. Now we're going to add in the teeth sockets. From here we're going to curve up and then down. Go back to the center and curve up and down towards the right. Now we're going to do this two more times on either side. Going up and then down. And then one final time on the outside we're going to curve up. Now we're going to pull this out and down towards the corner of the mouth. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up, angling down and then out. Now we're gonna go back up towards the top of the nostril. We're gonna curve out and then down just above the corner of the mouth. I'm just gonna hook this over. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna connect the corners of the mouth with a curve coming down in the middle and then back up on the right. Let's add the top row of teeth. Starting from the center, we're gonna angle down towards the left I'm going to angle back up towards this point in the socket. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down at an angle and then back up. Do the same thing on the side. Come down and then back up. Now let's add one more tooth on the side. Coming down. I'm just going to pull that up towards the side of the mouth. Now let's draw on the bottom row of teeth. In between the center teeth here, we're going to start with a point and go down towards the left and then the right. Now we just want to go in between the top row of teeth. We're going to aim in between and then back down. Do that again, going up and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Add a couple smaller teeth on the outside. Starting on the left, we'll go up and down. We'll draw one more. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to fill the inside area of the mouth in black. Now we're going to move out and draw on the cheekbones. Starting from the left eyelid, we're going to step out, 
starting out here, we're gonna curve down and then hook that in. Do the same thing on the right. Now back on the left side, underneath the cheek, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the same height as the corner of the mouth. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve going down underneath the mouth. Curve down, and then back up. Now underneath the cheek, we're gonna step out, draw a straight line coming down, do the same thing on the right side. Now I just wanna draw a bracket around the corners of the mouth. Starting on the left, I'm just gonna hook this around. Now let's go in and draw on the top of the head. Start from the top of the left cheek, we're gonna start by going straight up. Now I'm gonna round this out, coming in towards the center of the head. I'm gonna pull this back down over on the right side. And just pull this straight down on top of the right cheek. Now we're gonna add some wrinkles along the top of the forehead. Starting above the left brow, Starting on the outside, we're gonna curve up. I'm gonna hook this down, aiming towards the inside corner of the brow. Let's go over to the right side and do the same thing. Bring up, and then out. Now we're gonna add a wrinkle going across the forehead. Starting on the left, we start by coming in, curve down, round up the bottom, go back up towards the right, and then out. Now we're gonna draw a shorter wrinkle just up above. Starting from the left, curve down, and then up. Now we're gonna move to the side and draw on the ears. Starting from the top of the cheek, curve up and then out. And I'm gonna pull this down and in behind the side of the head. Come down and then curve that in. We'll do the same thing on the right. Start at the top of the cheek, curve up and out. Come straight down and then pull that in. Let's draw the inside of the ear. Starting from the side of the cheek, we're gonna curve up and then out. Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. From the left jaw, and step down. We draw a curve, coming down and then in towards the hip. Let's do the same thing on the right. Directly below the jaw, curve down and then in towards the same height. Now from the hips, I'm gonna draw two short angle lines coming down and in. Right about there. Now we're gonna flatten off the end. We're gonna come up with a short angled line. Now we're gonna follow that angle line going back up and out towards the side of the body. Let's add a buckle on the inside. We're gonna step out, draw a short angle line on either side. Now let's draw two straps coming up and in. Starting from this point, I'm gonna angle up and in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna flatten off the inside, come down with an angle. Now we're gonna come back out underneath the first strap. Let's add that buckle. Stepping out, draw that short angle line on both sides. Now we're gonna add a belt going across. So in between the buckles, we're gonna draw a straight line. Now we're gonna step up above the buckles and draw another line going across. Now we're gonna add the buckle in the center, draw two lines side by side. Let's add the skull in the center of the body. Starting from the inside of this buckle, curve up and then down towards the right side. Now underneath the buckle, curve down and in, leaving a gap in the middle. And we'll come straight down on top of the belt. Let's add in the eyes. On the left and right side, we draw a short angled line coming in. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a half circle. Let's go ahead and fill the eyes in black. Now right beside the skull on the left, we're gonna curve down and out in behind the belt. Now we're gonna step out and draw that same curve. Now let's move back up towards the top of the skull. We're gonna draw two angle lines going out underneath the chin. Start with the left side, go back to the center, go up and out towards the right. Now we're gonna draw a trim on the inside. Stepping out, we're gonna follow that same angle line coming in behind the skull. 
Now we're gonna go back out and draw on the side of the vest. So stepping out on the left, we're gonna start by coming down and then curving out towards the left. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then out towards the right. Now let's add a trim on the outside. We step out, I'm just gonna follow that same angled line coming down and out on both sides. Then we're gonna add that tip of the strap on either side. Starting up here, we're gonna angle down and out. Now we're gonna pull this up towards the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down at an angle, and then we'll pull that up and out. Now from these points, I'm gonna come down and in behind the top strap. Now we're gonna move down and draw that center flap. Underneath the buckle on the left, draw a straight line coming down. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna pull this in towards the center point, starting on the left, and then going up towards the right. Let's add some detail to this flap. We're gonna follow these two lines, coming in, and then back up. We're gonna do that again, stepping up, leaving an even space gap. Now we're gonna go up to the top, just underneath the buckle, we're gonna follow those two same lines, coming in, and then back up. Now I want to split this area in half. So find the center point, come down towards the middle, and then back up. Now we're going to tuck the legs in underneath this flap, leaving a gap in the center, over on the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, and then the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we're going to curve down and up towards the left toe, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now going back to the left toe, we're gonna to draw on the top of the foot. We're gonna draw a curve going up towards the top. Now I'm gonna pull this down, aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up and aiming towards the heel. Let's thicken up the sole. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and we're just gonna duplicate that. Now on top of the left foot, I'm gonna draw a short line going up the same thing on the right side. Now I'm gonna curve down and up towards the inside of the leg. Come down and then up. Now I'm gonna step down and just trace that out. Just follow that same curve on both sides. Now I'm gonna move back up and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the left hip, I'm gonna curve out the leg. Now I'm gonna pull that in towards the outside corner of the boot. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Coming out and then in. Now from the top of the flap on the left, we're gonna curve down and out towards the side of the leg. Then we'll add a small strap on the inside. Starting from the curve on the left, we're gonna angle down and in behind the flap. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arms. We start underneath the earlobe on the left side. We're gonna curve out and down towards the wrist out and we'll pull that down to right about there about the same height as the waist let's do the same thing on the right curving out and then down now we're going to round out the wrist starting from the outside we're going to curve down we'll just pull that up to right about there let's do the same thing on the right curve down and then back up now we pull this up in behind the body so starting on the left we're going to curve up and then in Go to the right side and do the same thing. Curving up and then in. Now I'm gonna go in and add the top edge of the armband. Starting where the arm meets the body, I'm gonna curve across and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Curving across and then up. Now I just wanna draw a few lines on the inside. From the top, we're gonna to step down, follow that same curve coming in. Now I'm gonna find the halfway point between the wrist and this line and draw another curve. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna add some spikes along the shoulder. We're gonna start on the left side, we're gonna add three on the outside. So it's almost like a sideways V, going up and then back down. Leave a gap, draw another one. Going up and down, and then one more. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna line this up. Start with the first spike, come down, 
go on the second spike and then the third. Now on the left side, we're gonna step in and draw two smaller ones. Starting here, we're gonna start with an angled line. Now we're gonna come up to a center point. Do the same thing down here. Start with that angled line and then go up towards the center point. We take that and flip it over on the right. Starting here, we're gonna draw that angled line Go up to a point. Now down here, do the same thing. Let's add one smaller one on the inside. The short line, and go up to a point. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna be drawing the daggers on top of the hand. So from the corner of the wrist, I'm gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down. Now from the inside of the wrist, I'm gonna come in draw a straight line coming down. Now I'm going to go out with a short line. Now before I finish this, let's move over to the right and do the same thing. From the inside of the wrist, we'll step in, draw a line coming down. From the outside of the wrist, we'll step in, draw that same length line. Now we're going to go out towards the side. Now back on the left side, we're going to angle down and in. With a slight angle. Now we're going to go back out with a short line. Do the same thing on the right. Down and in, and then we'll go back out. Now back on the left, we're gonna come down and curve in towards a center point. So start on the left, curve down, and then in. Go to the inside, we'll curve in the opposite direction towards that center point. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Add a little bit of blood splatter on the tip of the dagger. Starting from the left side, we draw a wave going up, down, and then up. Now right here, I'll draw a circle. Let's do the same thing over here. Starting on the inside, we curve down, up, and across. Now we draw a small circle on the inside. Now we're gonna tuck the hands in behind the dagger. Starting from the outside of the wrist, we curve out, and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. On the wrist, we'll curve out, and then in. And then back on the left side, we're going to start with the thumb. Starting from the inside corner of the wrist, we draw a small half circle. On the end of the circle, draw a bracket. Now at the bottom of the thumb, curve down and in behind the dagger. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with that half circle, and then we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, curve down and in behind the dagger. Now the last thing we do is add a curved spike in the back of the forearm. So we're going to start on the outside, we're going to curve out and then down. Now we're going to taper this back up and in behind the forearm. So we're going to go up and pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out and down. Now we're going to pull that back up in behind the forearm. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Baraka from Mortal Kombat 11. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.